everybody. Just wanted to give a little context of this video you're going to see of a, a little bit of a toy hunt and a weekend excursion that I did, had a few weeks ago. This um, trip was mainly to go to an IndyCar race with a cousin of mine that lives in Portland, Oregon. The race was there, the Portland Grand Prix. Um, gone to that every year. They've had that for the last three or four years. Um, but thought, you know, might as well take this opportunity to do a little bit of toy hunting and comic book hunting while I was there. So this trip um, was it's about a seven and a half hour drive from Boise, where I'm at, Boise area, um, to Portland. Stayed with my sister. She lives close by in Portland, so we stayed there a few nights. And um, what you're going to see is kind of a, a single day's worth of hunting and um, scrounging through a couple comic book shops, mostly t a couple toy stores, two toy stores, Billy Galaxy. I actually say it wrong later on um, in the video. It's called Billy Galaxy. Um, and also kind of an opportunistic uh, trip to the Rose City Comic Con in, in uh, downtown Portland there. Um, got to go and see an amazing setup. Saw some, not many toys, but tons of comics, of course, and a lot of cosplay and some uh, Jamie Sullivan, a G.I. Joe and Star Wars artist from IDW that was there. They got to talk to him for about half hour, 45 minutes, and got to know him a little bit. So some great stuff. You'll see some things from him. You're going to see some toys that I picked up at these two amazing stores, uh, Billy Galaxy, and the other one is Dr. Tongue's I Had That Store, uh, which the guy there that runs the place, Mike, was amazing. Um, and I kind of kept in contact with those guys through Instagram and i um, going to try to make that an annual trip to go to those, those their stores and see things. So um, hope you enjoy it. If you have anything, any questions or whatever, let us know in the comments and uh, hope you enjoy what you see. Thanks, everyone. Bye.
wow, heck of a day today, you guys. Um, bunch of stuff. Dr. Tongues was amazing. Uh, Mike there was really cool. Um, sent and talked to him for a while. Looked at all his stuff. You guys, see, you guys will see the videos if you haven't already. Um, <clears throat> he had amazing things. Some stuff makes me want to get into Micronauts really bad. Um, didn't have any of my adventure people, but that's okay. And tons of Joes. And then as I was getting ready to leave, I asked him, I said, hey, uh, you guys have any action for us? And he's like, no, but if you want to go downtown, back to literally like a block away from Powell's, there's a place called uh, uh, Mike's Galaxy, I think is what it's called. Um, yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah. Anyways, I can't find his card. I'll look at that. But went down there. They had a ton of stuff for, for G.I. Joe's and Star Wars. And uh, <clears throat> they had an original in the box still USS flag for $4,000 walked out without that one um that's a little much but it was in a great sh great shape um and then i thought well since i was at the comic book store there and it is called cloud nine comics they were selling tickets to the um rose city comic con which is i thought okay that's kind of cool maybe i'll hit a comic con real quick little did i know how big this one is it's uh down here at the convention center downtown uh we just across the river from downtown here in, C in portland and uh i didn't see any of the uh events or signings or anything like that. I came down mainly for the booths and there was a huge convention center room full of booths. Lots of comics, not a ton of toys. Um, if they did have toys, it was all newer stuff. I did pick up a uh, a uh, um, Snake Eyes um, classified with, uh, with Timber Wolf set and then got to talk to um, Jamie Sullivan a lot in the artist corner. He is the artist who does a lot of the covers for the current G.I. Joe's and Robotech comics and got some really cool stuff. Got some signed artwork from him, some original stuff. He drew a Cobra Trooper that's just amazing. He signed for me as well as some comics and some prints that I had signed. So those are going to go up in the room if I can find room for them. Great day. Um, and so I'll get you a review of everything that, uh, for the haul today once I get home and get it all set up and get some video done of that. So stay tuned. So this is kind of everything. <clears throat> this is a little bit of everything. Had to get an extra Y-wing, Luke uh, Y-wing, an extra X-wing pilot, Luke X-wing, because of the Palatoy X-wing that Connor Fuller sent me. Got to have somebody to pilot that, so had to get pick that up for extra. And trying to fill out my collection of GI Joes. Uh, the years that I collect, and so that means I had to get shipwrecked. I know, everyone hates him. But he was complete, and he's hard to get complete, so that was good. Uh, picked up an extra Boba Fett. It was cheap, so thought I'd grab that. Got some adventure people. And then a Joe uh, Tunnel Rat, as well as a uh, Battlestar fi figure for Pete. Scuba Pete saw this and said, I gotta have that, so I grabbed that for him. Um, picked up the... Uh, box Y-Wing with the inserts and I'll take that out and put that together once I get home but for right now he, she's staying in the box but box is a little little beat up but not bad and then um, Rogue Toys at the Comic Con yesterday had this Snake Eyes so grabbed him I paid a little bit too much but he, he's one of the ones I wanted to grab so <clears throat> oh well and then all of these micro machines at uh, Billy Galaxy. These were awesome. I lo always loved Micro Machines. I still have some of my original ones when I was a kid. And these are all fairly complete. I'll have to get them all put together correctly and do a little more research on them when I get home. But they are looking great. So this is all the Hoth ones. And then there's the Bespin one. Partial, of course. I need to get the other ones. And then the the Death Star one. I'm not quite sure how to put that one together yet, so I need to do that. But lots of figures with it. Then I picked up G.I. Joe number one comic. And then there is a um, Darth Vader blank. Uh, it's, a, it's a blank uh, issue, no cover on it. And so usually people buy those at conventions or whenever they can. And the cover artist then does his own original artwork on it. So that's kind of what I, what I did with this one here. 
That is a cover, hand-drawn and colored by artist Jamie Sullivan and signed by him. He was at the Comic-Con. This was one he did before the Comic-Con and I bought and he signed it. I think he's actually signed it twice down there in the black when he did it and then in the blue when I, I bought it from him. He also had some original artwork, uh, Cobra, Troop, Cobra Trooper that he was doing. Um, so I had him sign that one, bought that. That's an original ink drawing which is freaking awesome. And then at Billy Galaxy, picked up a bunch of Action Force comics. Uh, these are great. I love the covers on these. Kind of tried to center, stick with uh, Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes type covers, but I had to throw in a few of those like that. Um, plus there's a Crimson Guard one that's really cool. Jamie Sullivan also did a poster of the original figures for IDW. And so this is that illustration. Thought it was really cool. It's basically the figures. He said it's the figures as they appeared in their first editions. So had him do uh, sign that for me. And he's doing a couple of different ones like this too. So since I'm an illustrator also and an art director, him and I sat and talked for like an hour. It was awesome. The guy was really cool. But yeah, pretty good haul this weekend. Loving the Micro Machines. Came with the, the pamphlet for the turret defense one. And kind of the biggie for me though is this Y-Wing. Love how this thing is gonna look. Not quite sure where I'm gonna put it in the room, but I'll figure it out. My, my space is getting small. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this, you guys. I'll do a sign off here in just a bit. But yeah, this is kind of the, the group for the weekend. So, you guys got to see all that. Hope you enjoyed it. I was a little long-winded in a few of those. Sorry about that. Um, but some really cool stuff. Um, a great trip. M much more productive and a much more um, frenzy than I thought it was going to be. And the, the toys that we got to, that I got to pick up and some of the comic stuff I picked up just blew me away. Um, so, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, thanks, everyone. Bye.